Hi everybody, this is Janet Kenworthy. And Joe Craven. I'm an artist from California, although originally raised here in the South, and I'm here to celebrate a show that's going to be happening at the Poplar Night Spot on the 16th of January, that's this Sunday. I'm going to be playing with some fellas uh, that go by the name the Harris Brothers. Janet? Well, they are, in fact, brothers, and so they've got that great harmony going on. They also, like Joe, are multi-instrumentalist. Those of you that attend Merlefest will have seen them on many stages there. They hail from Lenore, but they don't play out in North Carolina that often. They're in great demand for session work and tour nationally all the time. Two men, a guitar, an electric bass, and a Samsonite suitcase. That's the combination with the Harris Brothers. Reggie and uh, Ryan, and I met these guys at a festival. By the way, this is Bert down here. Y'all might have been noticing I was... He's the doorman at Poplar Night Spot, for those of you that haven't made it down. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, anyway, I met the Harris Brothers at a festival in Pennsylvania last summer, and we met on the stage, as they say. And uh, it was a spontaneous jam that had people on their feet. And it's that kind of spirit that we're going to bring to the to the spot on Sunday. It's going to be a lot of fun. These guys are terrific. And... Uh, Joe's also one that travels with a suitcase, but his is filled with <laughs> right. an angel food cake pan, a donkey jawbone, <laughs> occasionally some bongos. You just never know. And you're welcome to bring all the crap, that stuff that's in your attic and uh, give him a whirl because he's traveling light this time. He only came with one bag due to the restrictions of the airlines. That's and just right. to give himself a greater musical challenge because that's what Joe's always looking for is a new window. You can, bring, uh, you can bring things to uh, Joe's altar of found sound, and uh, we might even uh, turn the tables and have you play along with us on something at the end, have a giant jam session. That's the spirit of, uh, of what that show is going to be like, though. It's going to be a lot of fun, and the Harris Brothers, I believe it's their debut. Is that it correct? It is the first time they've been to Aberdeen, yeah. and they'll be at Poplar Night Spot. That's 114 Knight Street in downtown Aberdeen. It's just two blocks east of US-1. You turn at the Farm Bureau Insurance and head over towards the Galaxy, and you'll find us. There's totally accessible parking, and we'd love to have you. You can buy tickets online at theroosterswife.org, or you can buy tickets at the door with cash or check. There's always great hospitality at the spot. So if, uh, if this is going to be your first time, uh, I feel positive that you'll be back as a, as a devoted fan and supporter of the good work that Janet does there. Sure hope to see you there. And speaking of good work, Joe is not only a maestro on the stage, He's actually a fabulous teacher, too. He's not teaching for us this time, but there are plenty of opportunities to learn down at the spot. We've got Laura Lynn Dossett, fabulous mm. singer and songwriter who is coming to lead a harmony sing singing workshop with Carrie Sickenberg. Together they are Polecat Creek. They'll be playing um, along with David Jacob Strain the night before the Super Bowl. That's a Saturday night, February 5th. And the following weekend, fabulous Piedmont Blues acoustic guitar workshop with John Shane, a noted expert, Duke graduate. We won't hold that against him. He's a lovely, lovely guy and a great, great player and a wonderful teacher as well. So you have lots of opportunities to listen and learn at the spot. Janet makes a great cup of coffee. Yeah. Joe for Joe. Thanks. Keep visiting Sandhills Dig and keep visiting the Rooster's Wife at Poplar Night Spot.